Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about my hair extensions. So there are many different kinds of hair extensions that you can have. The kind that I have in my hair right now are the keratin heat bonded. I'm personally only speaking from the experience of the heat keratin bonded extensions because those are the only kind that I have. If you want to see weave, tape-ins, glue-ins, any other kind, I would recommend to search for those types of videos on YouTube because I will not be talking about that. So if you guys can see, there are just little bonds all throughout my head and for example this is one extension as you can see it's attached right there by a little bond what they do to apply these is they will it's a little tiny bond and then they grab about the same size piece of your real hair that the extension width is and they heat it up with like a tool and it becomes like a hot glue consistency and they bond that onto your hair and then it's sort of just stuck in your hair until you take it out so back to the basics with my hair, um, I have hair that is this long, that's the natural length of my hair, and I got 16 inch extensions, so it goes, when it's straight it's just past my boob, but when it's curly it's like right in like the middle of my boob, so if that gives you any length. Um, I think 16 inches is a great length for me. I'll probably keep these in for a few more months. I've had these in for two months and heat bonded extensions can last from three months all the way up to six months. You shouldn't really keep them in any longer than six months because the bonds do grow down with your hair. So after a while they will get too long and too noticeable and also your hair needs a break <laughs> everyone. Your hair does need a break so you don't want to ruin your hair by keeping your extensions in for too long because a lot of times the purpose for extensions is to make your hair healthy again and have long hair while growing out short damaged hair. Um, that's a lot of the reason why girls wear extensions and that is why I wear extensions. You definitely want to take care of your extensions and get them out when they needed to be taken out. So I'm first going to start off with the price because um, they are an investment, but honestly, if a hair is a big insecurity of yours, which it was for me, um, then it's going to be worth it. And also, if you take care of them, it is worth the money. Also, you need to know that it depends on where you go, how much it's going to cost. Um, so I'll openly say how much mine were because it's not really anything to hide. Um, mine were $1,900, which I know is a lot of money for hair, and I'm not going to justify my purchase. Like I said, it, it's going to depend where you go, but do expect to pay at minimum $1,000 if you're going to get keratin extensions. Also, another thing to think about when it comes to cost is how much hair you're going to be getting and how long the hair is. When I went in for my consultation, she said, you know, how much hair do you want and how long do you want it to be? I said, I want long, thick hair. So having long hair and having a lot of extension bonds in is going to jack up the price a lot more. I have about 250 bonds all over my head so that it blends well and also so that it looks full and voluminous. Now if I were to get, you know, a shorter length and less bonds and I want it just for the length to match my thin hair now that it's thin because I damaged it so much, um, it'd probably be a lot less money, but since I want a long, voluminous hair, I'm going to have to pay for it. Another thing I get a lot of questions about is, if is this real human hair? Yes, this is real human hair. Um, you, I don't think you should get any other extensions that are not human hair. Human hair, you can wash, you can style it. I get a lot like, can you wash your hair? Yes, you can wash your hair. Washing it and shampooing it was a huge adjustment and a huge change because it kind of, the first week, it feels like you have like, I hate using the word bugs with hair, but it kind of feels like just a little like buggy feeling, like there's plastic in your hair, so it feels, you can definitely feel them, but now having them in for about two months, I don't feel them in my hair anymore, um, and it really does just feel like my hair. I don't notice the bonds anymore, and that took me about two to three weeks to really adjust to it. Shampooing to it is no problem. Um, what I used to do when I would shampoo is I'd like go in and you know, really like get into my hair. But now I can do that because I don't feel the bonds whatsoever. But when I was just getting used to shampooing with the bonds in, what I do is I kind of just go in and like go like this as opposed to like scratching down. Do you know what I mean? So you kind of just have to go over the bonds and get under them that way, but that's just something to think about. Something else that I wanted to talk about that was a huge concern of mine when I was getting my hair extensions in is are you going to be able to see the bonds? Because I did not want anyone to be able to see the bonds. 
No, you cannot see the bonds if they are done properly. My hairstylist did an amazing job, and she definitely hid the bonds really, really well. When I wear my hair up, you can't see it. When I, you know, pull my hair like this, you can't see it. The only time that you will ever be able to see my bonds is, as, is if I do two hairstyles. One of them is one that I really love doing, but it's when I do like the double Dutch French braids, you know, like the double French braids. I love doing the hairstyle, but obviously when I do that, all my bonds are going to be peeking out in the back. So if I'm filming a video, I'll do it because you only see the front of me, but I won't go out in public like that. Or if I'm taking pictures, I'll do it in the front, but the back is going to be bond central. There's going to be bonds everywhere. So you lose some, you win some, whatever. Another one that um, I was told I couldn't do, but I learned how to do, was the whole half up, half down. When I didn't have extensions in, I'd always bring mine out a little bit more than I would because my bonds on top start right here. So all of this up here is no bonds. So this is all the stuff that I can put up for a half up, half down, but then my bonds would be showing. So I kind of pull a little bit down, but then I just pull from the top to make it look like I'm pulling more of this stuff back, but really it's just covering my bonds. So it's just an adjustment that you're gonna have to make, and if they say you can't do half up, half down, you can, girl. Okay, so let's talk about application and then I'll get into maintenance. The whole application process itself took about three hours to put them in and honestly, I thought it was gonna take way longer. So having it be three hours was totally worth it for me. So I didn't really mind sitting there. Plus, it was just fun. Like, I could see my hair getting put on and it was just, it was fun. So I didn't mind the three hours that it took and then after we um, put it on, what we did is I went in for a consultation and she ordered my extensions one shade lighter than my hair was at the time because I had temporary dye-in. So she figured that my hair would lighten up a little bit because when I had my consultation, my appointment to get my extensions in were about three weeks later. So let me tell you, girl, those three weeks were the slowest three weeks of my life. I wore my hair up every single day because I did not like my short hair. Um, she ordered it one shade lighter and then we put my extensions in. The original plan was to darken the extensions as well if we needed to, but actually my hair and my extensions are a perfect match. That's what everyone tells me. They're like, how did, how did, how did she match it so well? I don't know. She knows what she's doing and it just looks great. Um, so I've got a perfect match. I'm very lucky. I've seen some extensions where it's like, hmm, you didn't match too well. But you can dye extensions since it's real human hair. However, I wouldn't recommend it because you want to keep these healthy. When it comes to cutting extensions, you want to cut them dry as opposed to wet because they dry differently than they would um, if it was real hair that was attached to my head. Since this is considerably dead hair, because um, it's not attached to a follicle or anything, it is dead hair, so it's going to dry differently, it's going to cut differently, it's going to color differently, um, it's just going to style a little bit differently as well. Also something to know, I don't know if this is with every extension, I do think it's with most extensions, is that these dry to a beachy, wavy texture, which is beautiful if I am just pretty lazy and I just want to have this be nice and wavy, I will just put some beach spray in it and it looks great and it's really pretty and natural looking. Now let's talk about maintenance and what you have to do to maintain these extensions. They are not your hair, it is not attached anymore, so it's dead hair, so it does require more maintenance than my natural hair does. The first thing that I noticed was that this hair, my extension hair, will tangle like a bitch. And that is because I did so much research on this because I thought like maybe my extensions were bad and I don't, I paid so much money, like why are my extensions doing this? Um, but then I watched a Candy, Candy Johnson video and she said her extensions tangled a lot and I was like, okay, good, maybe this is normal. So then I started researching it. Here's why that happens according to the internet and my hairstylist. Why this happens is because A, it's winter time for me. So automatically my hair always gets staticky this year and kind of tangly during this time of year. So that's just one factor that applies to, you know, the tangling of my extensions. The other thing is that, like I said, these are not attached to a follicle. So there is not any moisture going from my follicle throughout my little hair bands. It's all whatever product I put in it. So with your natural hair, you're going to have a follicle at the top and it's going to distribute moisture all the way down to the end of your hair. Even though the ends might be super, super dead, you still have some moisture going to them. These little extensions, yeah, they have absolutely no moisture going to them. This one's tangled a little bit. They have no moisture going to them, so it's up to you to maintain that. So what I do is I was using like a bunch of oils and deep conditioning masks 
yeah, they were great. They were working, but they weren't really working that well. So I went to my hair salon when I had to go get a trim up. I'm like, taking out this knot now. When I had to go get my trim up and she gave me new products to, you know, help with the detangling and my um, extensions have gotten a lot, lot better with the tangling and not tangling, I guess I should say. They do still tangle, obviously, just so I picked out a little knot, but they don't get into a big ball. Like, it literally used to be a ball <laughs> on the back of my head, a ball. But it's not like that anymore, so it's good. Also, when it comes to maintenance, this is probably the most annoying thing about hair extensions, with my kind of hair extensions anyway, is that every time I shower, I have to dry my roots and that's just because I have to dry the bonds. If you don't dry the bonds, what's going to happen is they're going to um, tangle together and make a dreadlock with your natural hair and then when you go to take it out, it's going to be really, really painful to take out the dreadlock. Don't worry if your hair dreads, it's normal if you have like one little tiny dread because it's knots essentially so it's okay and I'm going to explain why it knots up in a second but you do have to dry your hair every single time you take a shower, every single time you get it wet, just to make sure that you don't get dreads and to just keep your bonds healthy. My hairstylist had extensions in um, a lot. She doesn't have them in right now, but she did have them, have them in previously, and she would tell me that she wouldn't ever sleep with her hair in a braid, and she would go to sleep with her hair extensions wet, and she told me that they did not last as long as mine are going to. Because I sleep in a braid, that just helps it not get tangly overnight because my hair would not look a bitch overnight. Um, that just, you know. Because I sleep in a braid overnight and because I dry my extensions every single time, they should last for about six months. So essentially, the better you take care of your extensions, the more you're gonna get out of your money and the less you're gonna have to get a new set and a, you know, a new set on, new set out, whatever. So take care of your extensions. Dry them. I know it's a pain. It takes five minutes for me to dry my roots, but I can do it. You know, it's annoying, it's a pain, but it's fine. I normally just go in and I dry my full head. That will take me about 10 minutes. You know, before I had short hair, I had super long, thick hair. It's pretty much the same as this. And um, it would take me about 10 minutes at the same time. So it's not really a huge adjustment to me. I don't give myself a blowout. I just dry it as fast as I can. Then I run a straightener over it just to make it not frizzy. Um, and that's that. It doesn't really take too long. It's just sort of a pain to do, more of a chore to do. But if it's gonna make my extensions last longer and make my money go longer, I'm gonna do it. Like I said, be sure to sleep in a braid. I get a lot of questions about, you know, does it feel weird when you get them in and they have to sleep for the first time? No, it doesn't feel that weird. Um, the very first night, I remember laying my head down on my pillow and be like, hmm, this is a new feeling. But it's not something that's gonna stop you from sleeping. Like, you're gonna be able to sleep. Um, also, when you get your extensions in, there's a lot of tugging on your hair just to make it nice and tight so that the bond will go on nicely. If your scalp hurts, pop an Advil, you'll be fine. Although you can be taking precautions of putting your hair in a braid when you sleep, not pulling too hard on your extensions, and drying them, there are appointments that you have to go to for your trim ups, as my salon calls them. Other salons might call them something else, but you need to go in for your trim ups. Basically, your hair, your head, will shed about a thousand hairs a day, which sounds crazy, I know. 95% of my hair is, you know, bonded in with extensions right now. So what happens when I shed all those natural hairs that come off of my scalp, they don't have anywhere to go. So what happens is they kind of just fall out and they kind of just stay there and they kind of ball up. That's okay, don't freak. That's why you go in for your trim ups. What's gonna happen is when you go in your um, hairstylist should separate all your bonds because a lot of times what happens is, you know, if they get too tangly, if they shed too much, whatever, your bonds can get stuck together. So all that you do, here I just grab two bonds. <laughs> you just grab two bonds and you simply do what it sounds like. You take them and you separate them so that they aren't stuck together anymore. I honestly separate my bonds all the time. I'm separating them in class, when I'm watching TV, driving even, like with one hand I'll just like separate my bonds real quick. It's sort of addicting to separate your bonds, but your hair stylist is gonna go in and separate your bonds so that you don't get dready. And then she's also gonna see where all your hair is shedding and has nowhere to go. And it sort of balls up into this white little ball and she's gonna cut that. Well, she should. She's gonna cut that. And what that does, it just releases the hair from that little ball that's dreading up. And it's just, it's gonna stay in the extension. It's not gonna fall out anywhere. It's gonna stay in the extension, but when you take out the extensions, they're all gonna come out. So something that a lot of people have told me is that when you go in and get your extensions taken out, you lose 
so much hair and you freak out. I am prepared to freak out. Like I know I'm gonna panic and be like, oh my God, why did I do this? But it's because I lose a thousand hairs a day and for six months, I haven't been able to lose a thousand hairs a day. You do the math, I don't know how many hairs that is, but that's probably like a lot of hairs. I'll say like 50,000, I don't know. Um, no, that can't be right. I'm gonna lose a lot of hair when I get mine out. So that's just something that you have to remember. You have to go in for your trim ups and you have to separate your bonds or else they aren't gonna last as long. They're not your real hair, so they do require different attention than your real hair would. Another thing I wanna talk about is that I had to get a different brush when it came to brushing out my extensions. This is kinda dirty right now. Sorry about that. This is the Wet Brush Pro. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I got the wet brush. Um, you need a brush that's bristles will bend like this. I just recommend the wet brush or like even those little turtle brushes, you know what I'm talking about? They're like wet brushes and they have turtles, whatever. Um, those kind of bristles are the best because what you want is you want a hairbrush that can go on your extensions, like it's all on my extensions right now, on my little bonds, and if you brush down, it's not gonna pull out the extensions, it's just gonna go over top of the bonds and bend over them, still get the knots out, still be super gentle, but it's not gonna rip at your bonds and pull them out early. When I was getting extensions, I was always researching stuff for like the, the entire three weeks. I was researching like everything you could have possibly researched when it comes to extensions. I was researching, um, does it make you bald? Is it good for your hair? You know, what's gonna happen in my hair basically? It should help your hair. Um, it should help your hair because you should be nourishing your hair at this point. This is a time to let your hair grow and just to let it do its thing without you having to, you know, do too much damage to it. You do damage to these and then these go and then you're left with, you know, what should be healthy hair. Oh, look at all my real hair. Oh, it's so short. It's getting longer though. It is getting longer. So I do see it working. Um, and today I was in class and everyone was like, oh, you're, well, my teacher was like, your hair's getting a lot longer. And I was like, well, it's fake. And she's like, oh no, like your hair. And I was like, oh, thanks girl. So I quickly just wanted to touch on the topic of the fact that I'm a senior in high school and I had hair this short and then one day I came into school with hair this long. Did I get looks, stares, questions, whatever? No, I didn't. And I was talking to my friend about this the other day. I was so surprised because me especially, like everyone knows I do YouTube, everyone knows everything about me it seems. So when I walked into school, I thought everyone would be like, oh, of course she got hair extension, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. I was just expecting like a lot of shit to come out from all this, like from other people and just saying shit, like I was just ready for it, right? I really didn't get any comments. I think it was because I was posting it on Instagram a lot, so everyone sort of just knew. And like I was very open about it, I was like, yeah, I'm getting hair extensions on Saturday, like I'm so excited. So like everyone just sort of knew, and I don't know. And a lot of my guy friends were like, oh, I didn't even know you got extensions. Like, guys don't care. It's really the girls. So I was always very worried about that when I was getting my extensions in, like three weeks building up to it. I was very, very nervous about what people were going to say. But honestly, no one said anything. So that was a great relief for me. And it really, I don't know, if you're concerned about that, don't be because people are going to say they look good. <laughs> and, um... People really don't care. Like, I know it's easy for me to be like, don't care what people think, but like, if you're going to school with them every day and they say shit, like, that's not easy to go to school to. Like, I get that. So, if you're in the same boat as me, get them because honestly, people won't really care. And if I say that people won't care, trust me, girl, people won't care. Like, I thought people would like make a riot out of this. They didn't, trust me. Definitely don't want to put conditioner on your bonds or any sort of oils on your bonds because you don't want them to loosen up over time, especially stay away from oils. You don't want them to loosen up your bonds over time and then end up coming out. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. I was watching a video and this one girl said that she would lose about like 10 bonds when she would go in. Now before her new set, over the course of however many months she had them in, she'd lose about 10 bonds. Me personally, I haven't lost a bond. All mine feel super, super sturdy and secure. The only thing that I like didn't really think about, but I don't know why I didn't think this would happen, is that these shed, okay? They do shed. Like when I'm in the shower or whatever, I'll, you know, condition my hair, shampoo, whatever, like I'll lose like hair. Like he I just lost the hair. Like I shed their hair. It sheds. Don't freak. It doesn't mean your extensions are falling out. It doesn't mean anything bad. It's just hair. Hair sheds. So don't panic if you shed. If you're losing like, you know, extension after extension after extension, then maybe panic. Call your hair sauce. Be like, what'd you do to me? But like, if you're just shedding, don't worry. Okay, so I think I answered everything. I just looked through all of my um, 
questions on Instagram and um, everything was looking good. So if you guys thought this video was helpful at all, please let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to see like how I get, I'm going to get another set on. Um, in May I'm going to get these out and then I'll probably like wait a week and then I'll get a new set on for graduation. So if you guys want to see like how they get applied and everything like that, let me know in the comments and I can totally do that for you. Um, if you want to see how I get them out, let me know in the comments and I can do that as well. I just want to know what you guys want to know, you know? Tell me. So if you guys all enjoyed this video, if you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe for much more videos. And I'll talk to you all in my next one.